Hello Augies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Our question today comes from Leo Savoyan, KG6WNI, and he says, Mr. Dave, I'm going to put up a vertical wire about 20 feet tall for a world band radio antenna. When he says world band, he means shortwave listening. Okay, uh, there are some standard shortwave broadcast bands that are separate from the ham bands, like 49 meters and things like that. But uh, the thing to remember is these, the people who do this like to have very broadband antennas, okay? Now my question is, would a counterpoise or radials help with receiving, or are they only good for transmitting? Thank you from Leo. Now. Here's the thing about uh, antennas. Antennas are, by and large, reciprocal on transmitting and receiving. In other words, the pattern for, say, a Yagi uh, that puts the beam into just a certain area uh, will receive the same way. Okay, so that's what's called reciprocity in antennas. And the answer is yes, the radials will help just as they would help um, a 20-foot tall antenna. Now here's the deal. What you want to listen to the various shortwave bands is something very broadband. And if you put up an antenna that's a vertical with radials, it will be resonant on exactly one frequency and also on a little bit on either side of that frequency, plus or minus 100 kilohertz, depending on where you are, okay? So if you want to be able to listen to the broadcast bands, I would suggest one of two things, depending on whether you want to spend money on it or not. If you don't want to spend money on it, just a long wire will do. And by long, I mean as long as you can get it, Okay, out to 100 feet, something like that. Maybe you can only get a 20-foot piece of wire in the air, or you can hook a wire up to the eaves of your house and take it out toward a tree, something like that. Uh, keep some slack in it so that the tree won't blow in the wind and snap it. But um, there are a lot of things you can do to make that fancier and to withstand the winds better, but that kind of an antenna is somewhat broadbanded. Now, another thing that you can do, and I just uh, did a video for this that shows what's inside of it, but this has in the back a little place where you can connect a wire antenna. You unscrew it, put the antenna around it, screw it back, and then you can actually tune that antenna to whatever shortwave band you're listening to. And the way you do that is simply, you start with the middle one, tune for max noise, and then adjust one and the other, go back and forth a few times till you've got something you like. You like. Now, I would recommend that you write these combinations down so that you can remember them the next time. It will become second nature after a while. And that's all you need to do. Almost every simple uh, antenna tuner like you see in ham radio is also something that can tune a random length wire. Okay, now technically a long wire is two or three wavelengths long, but a random wire can be just about anything. And you will find this will greatly help your listening. These cost about $150. They are the MFJ model, MFJ-901B, as in Bravo. So that's your next cheapest way to do it. Now, the next cheapest way is not cheap. Okay, you're, you're talking about spending more money than you probably did on your radio and that is to get a loop receive antenna, okay? MFJ makes them, um, Chameleon, well, they used to make them. I don't know if they make them anymore, but you might find one. These are loop antennas. They're only about three feet or four feet in diameter, and they go up in a pole on the top of your house, and yes, they are a bit directional. 
but there's a little preamp at the bottom of them. And the preamp takes that signal, sends it down to your radio, and you've got something really nice. There's also um, a two-foot version of that for sale on Amazon. And it's yeah, somewhat interesting, but the three-foot are the real ones. But you're talking six or seven hundred dollars uh, for a very broadband receive antenna. And the nice thing about this is you can get it up on the house, away from the noise. It is somewhat directional, so you can turn a null to a persistent noise source, like a local broadcast station or something like that. So there, I've given you three ways of doing it. Just a simple random wire, or a random wire with this $150 tuner that's still made. This was the very first piece of MFJ equipment I ever purchased. I got this a very long time ago and for 99 bucks. <laughs> they still sell them but they're 150 now. Prices have gone up. So there, I hope that answers your question, gives you some choices, some things you can do, something you can look forward to. So Leo, I hope that you will have a great deal of fun on the shortwave bands. And until we next meet, 73.